Okay, so you want to add a focus to your avatar. Uh, before that, there are a couple things that you need to know about. Uh, first off, you're going to want to use the focus mesh over here. That's located in Value Factory, Hypno Eyes 2 Focus DLC. And scroll down a bit until you find the focus mesh. You can drag that in. I'm going to just drag that in onto my avatar here and set the position of it in the inspector to zero. So now it's at the base. So there are a couple things to know first, is that um, the uh, the mesh itself is inverted, so it's inside out. So as you can see, we only see the inside, but if we go over here, we can't really see the outside of it. We only see the inside of the mesh. That's what we want. Uh, and the other thing is that the origin of the mesh is actually right here at where my feet are. So it's right here at the center. It's not at the tip here. It's right here at the center. And that is important because culling. Uh, if we drop, for example, this material on here, uh, and then we try to move the material out of sight, it will flick in and out. That's because Unity tries to not render it because it thinks that we can't see it, but we actually can. So when we're positioning the focus mesh, we're going to need to be aware of that and we're going to need to be careful of that. And there are two things that you can do there. First off is to make sure that the whole cone here, the outline of the focus, is kind of enveloping where the other person would be looking. So, for example, if we uh, want to have the focus mesh on the face of the avatar here, what we do is we rotate this 90 degrees. I'm pressing control and rotating this to make it snap. And we're going to move this up. Then try to position it so that uh, the center of this uh, circle here is approximately at the center of the face. We're going to want to make sure that the origin of the mesh is where we want the center of the focus to be. So something like that. We'd want to do something like this. This way, if somebody is looking at me uh, head on like this, we are going to always be seeing the focus mesh in front of us. And especially if we get really close, we are inside of the focus mesh, meaning Unity will think that we can still see it. So if we put on one of the materials and then we try to get really close, as you can see, it's still being shown and at some point it's going to stop being shown because it's being cold. And we're just gonna try to get as close as possible. And as you can see, we're inside of the avatar now. The, the focus is flipped even, and this is exactly what we want. We want something like this where no matter how close we get, we still see the focus. Um, so the rotation and positioning is are very important. You can also adjust the scale of the focus, so you can get make it bigger, and then of course adjust the um, the center here, uh, so that it's at the uh, where you want the center to actually be, and uh, see if Unity uh, hides it or not in in whichever angle you want to be the user to viewing it from. And now for uh, the actual setup, attaching this to your avatar. There's a simple way of doing it that is very limited, but there's also a um, more advanced way of doing it that is very versatile. Uh, the simple way is to just take the focus mesh and put it on your head bone. So we can do that right now. And the, the reason why you want to put it on your head bone is so that uh, it just follows your head, but also uh, that way, because it's on your head bone, you won't actually see it in your viewport as you're in VR. The focus um, uh, shaders always try to follow the camera. They don't really know who's looking at them. They don't know if, if somebody else is looking at them or if you're looking at them. They don't really care. They're always going to try to look at whichever camera is looking at them. So you have 10 players looking at one avatar. All those 10 players are going to see that the focus is looking at them. And that includes you. So we can put this on the head bone to make sure that uh, the focus mesh is actually completely hidden and not shown at all for you because VRChat actually hides the head bone for local users. So uh, we can do that right now. Uh, what I've done here is I've 
uh, found the armature of my avatar and I've uh, alt clicked this little arrow here to expand all the bones. And now I'm going to try to find the head bone right there. That's the head bone and we're going to uh, drag the focus mesh uh, into the head bone. You can, you can also just like uh, take this and drag it onto the head bone and make sure that it's not asking you to unpack your avatar. Uh, that's bad. You want to, if you're doing something like this, it's going to ask you to unpack your instance. Don't, don't do that. Uh, drag it on the text here. Make sure like the text is highlighted. There you go. You'll see a little plus here if you've if you, if you done it right on the, the prefab here. Okay. So we're going to zero this. So we're going to transform position zero. Make sure that all these are zero. And so now, this is going to be the center of the mesh is going to be at the center of where your, uh, or at the origin of your head bone. And now we're just going to want to position this. So I'm going to pretty much just go into orthographic mode so that it's easier to line everything up. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that we're looking down towards the uh, uh, X axis and pressing this little cube here to go into orth orthographic mode. And now I'm just going to rotate to taste the mesh here, approximately around here, let's say. If you're having clipping issues like this, press F, and that should uh, adjust the uh, the camera to make sure you don't have any clipping issues. So we're gonna do this, and then we're going to go down Z, and let's just have it in between the eyes here. And now we're going to put the material that you've picked out, I'm going to put this one, now, let's actually do this, this other one, because that one's not properly set up. Uh, and yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's go back. I've changed my mind. Let's go back. Let's do render in front and distance fade out so we can actually see what's going on. And yeah, that already looks good to me. The uh, it's, it's centered on the, uh, the nose bridge here. And there don't seem to be any calling issues. This is good. And that's pretty much it for the simple setup. You don't, really need, you don't really need to do anything else. You can just upload this and uh, people will uh, be able to see this and you won't. But however, there's one little caveat and it's this. <laughs> you might see this in the avatar selection screen and that might make it really hard to select avatars, which is where the opacity or toggles come in. An opacity on the material will make it easier, but I really, really recommend having a toggle. And you can do that by setting up a simple uh, animation layer that turns off this mesh and turns it back on. Uh, let's let's set let's set up a toggle right now. Um, we need to find the effects layer. Uh, so we can do what we can do is we can find our avatar descriptor, which is usually on the root object of the avatar. Uh, click on it so that it's selected here. Double click on it so it opens up the animator. And now we have our animator, so just, just keep that tab open somewhere. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to record some animation clips for turning off uh, this mesh on and off. So let's go into play mode. Uh, let's go into, oh, by the way, if you have some kind of gesture manager or avatar emulator uh, thing enabled, in your project, you might want to disable that first before doing any kind of animation setup here because uh, that seems to conflict with... It, like, you, 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 you might need to disable that if you want to follow along here with me because that does some stuff to the animator. It's weird and I don't really know what it's doing. Um, but yeah, once you have that disabled, go into play mode, take the FX control that you have, drag it onto your avatar and your avatar will change a little bit. Don't worry, that's fine. And now let's go into, uh, I believe we can go into uh, Windows. Uh, we can go into animation here to open up this little animation tab. And we want to select our avatar over here. Uh, press this little drop down here, create new clip. And we're going to put that clip somewhere. I'm just going to go into my avatars folder, animation, make a new folder called focus toggle, open it up and name this to focus off. Okay, saved. Now we're going to want to click this red button and start recording an animation. We're going to find our animation mesh, click on it, and then disable it. 
That's it. Now let's do that again. So we can create a new clip and call this focus on. Click the record button, turn it off, and then turn it back on. And we can stop the recording. Now we have two clips. We have the focus on and focus off clips. So we can go into our animator now and create, uh, we, we don't have to be in edit mode anymore or we don't have to be in play mode anymore. So we can create a new layer over here, call it focus toggle or anything that you would like. Click on the cog wheel, set the weight to one, go to parameters, plus sign, Boolean focus toggle. Go back to layers, uh, go back to base layer and remove these two focus off on things. I also have that. Um, then focus toggle and we're going to need to find the two animations here that we've made in the project where we save them, drag them both in. Make sure that focus off is the uh, default thing that the entry goes to. So what, how, how you can do that is by right clicking on something and setting it as a layer default state. So we make sure that the focus off is the layer default state. So we want this. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to right click on focus off, make transition into focus on, right click on focus on, make transition into focus off. Now we're going to edit the transitions. So click on focus off to focus on, click on this little transition here, expand the settings, set exit time and these to, to, to completely zero and uncheck these. In list of conditions, click this plus button. Uh, make sure that this drop down is set to focus toggle and make sure it's set to true. Now, from focus on to focus off, click on this other arrow here. Same thing for the settings. All the values to zero, all the checkboxes disabled, plus on the conditions, focus toggle, false. And so now we're what this basically is going to do is, is it's going to make sure the focus is off by default. But then if we have the focus toggle on, we're going to turn on the focus. And if we don't have it on anymore, we're going to go back to focus off. And now you can add uh, a toggle into your menu over here. We're going to do this. I already have it set up here. Uh, what I've done here is just go into my menu, which you can find by clicking on your avatar route, going down to menu over here, clicking it, it'll select it, add control, uh, call this whatever, focus toggle, Lamal, click uh, type, make sure it's set the toggle and the parameter should be focus toggle. Boom. And now if you have an avatar emulator, you can test that out. Uh, what I also, how I also like to test these is I just go into the scene, press uh, play mode, drag the animator into the avatar root, select the avatar root, Make sure that we're seeing both the scene and the avatar root. Go into parameters, click on focus toggle, and it's on and it's off. On, off. Exactly what we want. We have an example effects controller here in the example focus animator layers folder uh, that you can open up and you can take a look at uh, how the how I just did the focus toggle. Uh, you shouldn't actually use this for your own effects controller. You should just make sure that you can use this as a reference point to make sure that you've got your own FX controller properly set up. And it's the same setup. We have a hide focus as the default, going into a show focus uh, with transitions, uh, if uh, transitioning from off to on if we're showing and on to off if we're hiding. Now, the more advanced setup, but the more versatile setup is if you want to put this anywhere else but the head bones. So for example, maybe I want to put this on my hands. Maybe I want to have a focus on my hands. And well, the way you do that is really the same way as you would put it on any, anything else. But the thing is that you're going to want to somehow manually hide the focus so that it's not uh, trying to get all into your face. With the head bone, if you, put, if you just put the focus on the head bone, it will automatically be hidden. Uh, because VR chat uh, hides the head bone for local players. But if you have the focus on a hand or a foot or any other kind of thing on your avatar, it won't be automatically hidden. You'll have to do that hiding yourself. So the way you do that is is with some animator trickery. And using the is local parameter to hide the focus, uh, depending on whether or not is local set to true or not. 
And so let's just go through the whole process uh, very quickly. Let's, let's just go and try to put the focus on our hands. So uh, I'm going to find the armature. I'll click on the arrow here to expand everything and put this on my right wrist. So we're going to focus mesh, drag this on wrist R. I'm dragging it onto the text here to make sure that I'm not asked to unpack the material. We're going to zero the position of the focus mesh. And then we're going to... Uh, try to align the center with where I actually want it to be. So for that, I'm going to go into orthographic view by pressing this little uh, box over here and aligning my viewport with one of the axes, going into rotate mode and just adjusting this to taste. Yep. You can press F if you have clipping issues. There we go, that looks good. Now I'm going to drop, I'm going to go out of orthographic mode by pressing the uh, box again, and I'm going to put uh, material on there. And that is exactly what I want. Okay. So now for the animator stuff. We're going to want to find the effects controller of our avatar here, which we can find by going to the avatar root, clicking on FX uh, on the effects layer here. If you don't have one, you can just make a new uh, right click anywhere in your project, right here and animation animator controller here and drag that to be your effects controller so we can click on that double click on that to open up the animator over here i'm going to drag that down at the bottom you're also going to want to have an animation tab here which you can find in window windows animation i'm also going to drag that down there and so now we're going to first off set up a very simple animator layer that, that will just hide the focus for you, but show it for everybody else. And then later on, we're going to set up a toggle so that you can have it always hidden for you, but shown for other players as a toggle. We also have those exact two setups over here in the example focus animation layers. In case you want to uh, verify uh, if you've done it right, you shouldn't use these layers. You shouldn't copy them because the animation clips are going to be like completely different from what you need on your avatar. Uh, it's recommended that you just use these as reference to make sure you've got stuff right. So yeah, so first off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to record the focus off and focus on clips. Those are gonna be the main clips that we're going to be using and we can do that by going into play mode. And in case you have any sort of uh, avatar um, gesture menu and emulator, you're going to want to disable that for this. And for the time being, while well, we make these uh, animation clips. So go into play mode, drag the FX controller into your uh, animator, into your uh, avatar uh, root. So you can see something has changed already. We're going to want to select our avatar here. Going to want to go down here into the animation tab, click on the strap down here and create a new clip. And let's go, let's go save that somewhere where we can remember that. Uh, I'm going to just put that over here. Call this focus toggle and call this focus on so we're going to press this real this red record button find the focus here focus mesh turn it off and then turn it on so we have a fo our focus on clip now now we're going to create new clip again call this focus off same thing record and then turn it off then stop I'm just going to turn that back on. We can exit uh, play mode now. Go back into our animator, go into the base layer, and delete these two clips over here. Now, we're going to go into parameters. We're going to add a Boolean called is local. Now, the capitalization here is very important. Make sure you have the I capitalized and the L capitalized. If you're not sure you're getting it right, Again, you can go down to the uh, example effects controller here, go into the parameters here, double click on the name, copy it, and then paste that as the name in your effects controller. This will make sure you have it correct no matter what. So we have that parameter, and now uh, we're going to go back into the layers tab, uh, create a new layer called focus uh, local hide, or whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, click the cogwheel, set the weight to one, then we're going to drag both of our focus off and focus on uh, animation clips in here. Now we're going to want to make sure that the entry points to focus off and you can do that by clicking on uh, the animation clip and set it as the layer default state. And we're going to want to make sure that it's on focus off by default. So set that there. 
And next up, we're going to want to create transitions from focus off to focus on and from focus on to focus off. Okay, let's select the transition from focus off to focus on. Expand the settings here and let's zero out all of these values over here and disable all the check marks. And now for the conditions, we're going to want to add a new one and go to is local and set this to false. So we're going to go from off. Off is going to be our default say so our, our focus is going to be off by default. We're going to be transitioning into focus on if is local set to false. This is local parameter will always be set to true on your avatar on your side, but it will be set to false for your avatar on everybody else's side. Bit of a confusing thing, but um, just make sure this is set to false. And then on on to off, we can zero everything out, disable the checkboxes, add this, set is local to true. This is just as fail safe. You don't have to do this, but it's good practice. It's a fail safe in case something weird happens. That's really it. Now this focus will be hidden for you no matter what, but shown for everybody else no matter what. You also don't have to add any um, parameters for this to work. This is an, th this doesn't this local doesn't need to be added to your uh, parameters list over here. You don't have to do that at all. This is not required. Now, what if you want to have the focus on as a toggle? What if you want to make sure that other people don't see it until you toggle the focus on, but you never see it yourself? Well, we can we can change this a little bit up to, to have that happen. So let's first of all add a new Boolean in the parameters uh, a section over here called focus on or anything really, just some kind of name that you can remember. And let's go back into the focus local hide. And I'm just going to rename that to focus because it's no longer a local hide. Uh, and we're going to add the focus off again. And we're going to remove our transitions and we're going to make a transition from focus off to focus off and then from focus off to focus on and focus on to focus off. Now, this is a bit odd, but what we're going to do is we're going to rename these so they make a little bit more sense. So this focus off is going to be hide focus for uh, everyone, including including yourself. This is the thing that's going to be run by default. So this will hide the focus for you and everybody else. Now, this one is going to hide the focus for every everyone else. So and now this one is going to show focus for everyone, not including you. This is what these are going to do. So this is focus off, focus off, focus on. But this one will hide it for everyone, including yourself. This will hide it for everyone, but not yourself, unless it's already been hidden, which this is true. Uh, but this will show it for everyone, not yourself. Weird, but let's just keep going with it. For all these transitions, we're just going to zero them out real quick so that we don't have to do this. But we're zeroing these out so that these transitions happen as fast as possible. There's no delay. Okay, so now we, once we have those transitions zeroed out, uh, from the hide focus for everyone, including yourself, to hide focus for everyone, from in this transition, we're going to add a new condition, set that to is local, set to false. And now the backwards transition going from hide focus for everyone into just uh, hide focus for everyone including yourself new transition is local set to true now for this uh going from hide into show we're going to add a condition saying focus on set to true and now show to hide new condition focus on set to false now so that's pretty much it and the way you need to think about it is that this part is only is it going to be run for everybody but it's only going to stay like the, the flow of this layer is only going to maintain like be locked to this certain section over here if you're the local player now if you're not the local player you're immediately going to go into this section over here these this little like this little section over here and over here uh we actually have the ability to show the focus if our uh, focus on parameter here is set to true. Now uh, we're going to need to also add focus on parameter into our parameter list over here. 
I, I have one here already. Let's delete that. So let's add a new one called focus on, set that to Boolean and uh, decide whether you want that to be default on or default off or whether or not you want this to be safe between avatar switches. And of course, add a menu toggle for this. I already have one, so let's make a new one. And uh, of course, you can find both these by going into your uh, avatar root here and finding the menu and parameters here. So let's add a new control. You can name this whatever you want. Focus, show, hide, call it a toggle, and then have the focus on parameter. And that's it. You've set this up. There's going to be a toggle in the expressions menu now that will allow you to show and hide the focus for other people. That's pretty much it.